Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and I think I've found the sleeper to end all sleepers. This Land Rover Defender is actually insane as a drag car. Let's go! This holiday season, I'm giving away an Xbox Series X to one of my subscribers. Click the link in the description down below to go watch this video to learn how to enter that giveaway. Again, I'm giving away an Xbox Series X console this holiday season, so go watch that video now and enter the giveaway. Alright, so we're going to take the most unsuspecting drag car, and we're going to try to beat some people in an online lobby today. This is what we're doing. We're going to be using this Defender as the car to do it, so I don't know how this is going to go. We're going to figure it out, but let's build this car first so we can see how fast it actually is this is this is a all-wheel drive car so it should launch pretty well but i don't know if we're going to be able to get the amount of power going down the line and we'll see what happens let's build this thing so performance wise we have six engines to choose from i don't know man i don't know if i want this v12 or if i want this v8 and this v10 actually works pretty well the uh the v8s have been the most powerful engines in the game so far so we're gonna try that and see what we can do for a zero to 60. let's drop this engine in and and put the ultimate parts on all right so here's my first build we've got the 3.9 liter v8 engine with all ultimate plus parts the ultimate dual turbo we're gonna swap this nos tank out for the 1 by 15. i've got a track set up so we've got the track suspension drag tires for the launch i chose the six speed gearbox because it offered the lowest zero to 60 time but we're going to play around with this depending on what it offers for the total quarter mile time we'll, we'll get to that in just a moment <clears throat> track differential nos refill and nos power we're gonna go with power instead of duration i may switch to duration depending on what the results are but let's see how it goes now this is a sleeper car. We're definitely going to be going with just this stock look. I don't want anyone to know that this car is fast. We're not going to customize it at all. We're going to see if we can't get some people to uh, to drag race us real quick here. Let's see. Oh, we might have one. Here we go. What kind of car is this? Oh no. We might be in trouble here, guys. Oh, we got a beetle too. We might be in trouble. Let's see how this goes. Oh, pretty close. Come on, let's go. Oh, and he's gone. All right, the Pagani is too much. The Pagani is just too much. There's no way this thing beats the beetle. Maybe we can beat... Oh, we got a Regera. This is a good test. This is a good test. The Regera is, is very fast top speed, but doesn't doesn't move off the line very well. So let's see what happens. All right, nice solid launch. Let's go, Regera. He had to go around that ambulance. That wasn't very fair. Oh, look at this. I'm just holding them off barely. <laughs> oh no, this is crazy. This Land Rover is absolutely insane. I just beat a Regera. Uh, uh, granted, the Regera is definitely not the fastest drag car, but that's hilarious. That's a that car is very good top speed. Not good off the line, but let's see if we can get another one. Let's see if we can get someone else. Also, note I'm spraying on this as well. We're using the NOS. We have to, man. This thing is a tank. But, oh my god, off the line? Not bad at all. Oh, I took off a little early. A little early. But look at him, just gapping him in the middle. Dude. What is going on? He has nothing. Oh my god, it's hilarious. Alright, so we know it's faster than the Regera. Not, again, not saying too much, but... We need to see if we can get some other cars involved here. That's pretty exciting though. That Regera is very fast top speed. 
All right, let's take a look at the gearboxes to see if any of them give me a better zero to 60. I'm pretty sure the six speed is the best one, but let's see. We got a 2.13, a 2.4 for the five speed. So that's definitely slower. 2.13 for the seven and a 2.13 for the eight. So I want to stick with the six because it offers the most amount of time for that NOS to be uh, as effective as possible without having to waste time during the shift. Even though the shift is automatic and it happens really quickly, I just don't want to waste any NOS at all. So the least amount of shifts we can get with the fastest speed, that's what we're going to go with. Oh, here we go. Oh, the Skyline wants to pull up too. Let's go. The GTR. Okay, all right. You can just push me out of the way. That's fine. Wait for everyone to get lined up here. Oh, I got hit! All right, where's the beetle at? There he is. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, I'm beating him! And the skyline! <laughs> oh my god, hilarious. All right, so I don't think that guy knew how to control his beetle. If I was driving that beetle, I would have smashed this Land, land Rover, but I definitely beat him. We're going again. Here we go. With the good launch. There goes the beetle. Beetle had a good launch. What? Why would you come over and hit me? Look at this. Look at this Land Rover up front. <laughs> this is it. It's a new drag monster. The Land Rover is the new drag monster. I want to get more cars involved. How is this doing this? Why is it beating the beetle? There's no way this car is faster than the Beetle. Oh my god, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. We might have to go to a different lobby just to get new players. These guys don't want to race anymore. <laughs> we got a Corvette. Oh, it just launched on the Corvette. That Corvette's got to come back top speed, though. Look at him. He's going to start catching. Here he goes. Yeah, he got me on the top speed. But, dude, I freaking launched on him. It's hilarious. Oh, my God. That's so funny. This is it, dude. This is the sleeper drag right here. This is the sleeper drag monster. Oh, my God. I wonder if I should change the engine. Let's take a look at some, uh, let's take a look at some of the tuning. Maybe we can make this a little faster. So the quarter mile is not that fast, it's only nine, uh, 923. Let's take the steering sensitivity down and let's take the downforce all the way down. Still 923. All right. <clears throat> so let's drop that other engine in it real quick and see what we can get that quarter mile down to. All right, so I think the next fastest engine is probably gonna be this V10. I think the V8 is going to be the best one, but this V10 might might compete. Let's just see what it looks like once we get all the parts uh, installed. All right, so here's what we, look at this. We've got a quarter mile of 9.20 with the V10. We've also got the 0 to 60 at 2.13. Now, if we swap the engine to the 3.9 V8, the 0 to 60 goes up a little and it goes up to 9.23. So that means that V10 is going to be faster. Let's go ahead and swap back over to that. Because we were beating those people without even the fastest engine in it. Oh my gosh. Let's get it. Let's see what we can do here. Oh no. That's an Audi R8. That thing is quick. Oh no. This is not gonna end well for the Land Rover. Oh my God. Let's give it a try though. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's doing a burnout. Oh, he got me off the line. Oh, but look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Bro just destroyed this R8. Oh my god. Hilarious. This is the ultimate sleeper right here. This Defender. 
This is the ultimate sleeper. I keep in mind, I have no idea what builds these people are using in these cars. It's just a random lobby. But look at my success rate so far. This thing is quick, dude. Up until now, I've been using the 1x15 pound tank. But I have a feeling with a drag strip that's this long, it's not a short quarter mile. We're talking about, you know, a half a mile or longer on this drag strip. So what I think I'm going to do is switch to the 1x9 and then refill it mid run and run it again to see if I can get some extra length out of these NOS bottles. But let's see what happens if I swap to that. Oh, this guy's back. He's get oh no. He pulled out a big dog. And I swapped. Oh, he's got it right on the line. Look at this. All right, refill. And Nas again. Come on. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, he got me. All right, with the double Nas, he, get, he gets me. Let's swap it back real quick and see see if we can do this. I have a feeling it would have been very even if, uh, if I could have kept the Nas going. All right, we just loaded into a new lobby. I'm gonna try to race a few more players that are just random players online. I don't know these people. I have no idea what their builds are, but we're gonna see what the success rate of this Land Rover Defender is when you just race random people. Oh, here we go. We got somebody. We got somebody. Why? 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 Why would you just slam into me? Oh, with the burnout too. Let's go. He's quick off the line. What? Why? Oh my god, why would you do that? We're going straight. What are you doing? You just go straight. You don't have to turn. All right, here we go. Round two with this guy. Oh, he, he got a jump. He got a jump. He's not Nossin. Oh, not bad, not bad. We hung in there. He also took off just slightly before. He took off just slightly before he, he did the third honk. Oh, he's got the 180. This is going to be a tough one. He's taking off before he honks. You're taking off before you honk, bro. Come on. All right, he's taking off before he honks on the third honk, but... Even though I don't think we would beat a 180, we're gonna honk it this time. Here we go. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do a honk. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna beat the 180. That's a tough one. That car is too fast. But damn, off the line though? Bro, the Land Rover off the line. What's he got now? Ooh, this thing's quick too. I don't know if this uh, if this is gonna be able to keep up with the S15. We'll see. Oh, off the line, I got him. Off the line, I got him. Oh no, he took me though. I think this thing just turns into a dog, like right around seven, uh, 170. At 170 miles an hour, he just it just loses it. But damn, off the line, it's so fun. And anybody who doesn't know how to drive, I feel like will definitely lose against this Defender. This thing is hilarious. It's the biggest, heaviest car. Oh, the muscle car gets it. Nope. Let's go, look at this! Yeah, we win! Alright. I love it. The same guy just keeps bringing out new cars for me to test. This is great. Oh, look at 
look at this! I held up with the GTR for quite a while. Oh my goodness. That was pretty good. He beat me. He definitely beat me, but it I definitely held my own, man. This defender is something else. I cannot believe this thing off the line. It's so good. So I do believe we've achieved the best drag build for this defender. It is insane off the line. I am so surprised because it's 0 to 60 stats are really not that good and it's quarter mile stats are not good at all either so it's kind of weird to see this car do so well in the wild with these cars now granted i didn't win every race out here but this definitely surprised a few people especially when you roll up on them with a stock defender this car is actually really really fun to go out and drag race with i truly recommend this thing and build it just like i have here 8.4 liter v10 you've got ultimate plus everything with a ultimate dual turbo the 1 by 15 pound nos super track suspension i put the elite brakes on there you don't need brakes for drag racing but i might as well put the best brakes on there drag tires as always and then you're going to go with the elite plus clutch the six speed gearbox and then the track differential and of course i'm doing nos refill and nos power that 15 pound bottle is way long enough so we're gonna go with the nos power as the best option for it this thing is so surprising and i'm so glad that i found it and started testing it in lobbies like this uh because i had a lot of fun today trying to get this thing to go fast and we were able to achieve something that i really didn't think we were gonna do so Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here for that video. Keep in mind, guys, number one, I have no idea what these people had on their cars. I was just racing for fun. And number two, it actually had a pretty decent success rate. I'm going to classify this thing as a super sleeper when it comes to drag racing. People do not expect this car to be as fast as it is. And as long as you have that 15-pound NOS bottle, uh, you're good to go. Take this thing out, start racing it in online lobbies, and let me know in the comments what your experience has been. It is very very fun to drive. All right, guys, thank you so much to all the subs, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Trigger out.